Now, I never thought I would be making this video, but Kyrie Walker is officially making a comeback. Now, Kyrie Walker was probably one of the best middle school hoopers of all time I've seen. Bro was throwing the ball off the backboard, doing windmill dunks, and really just destroying kids on the court. Hooped with Julian Newman back in the day, and that was really the prime time of high school and middle school basketball. Now, Kyrie Walker just made a huge announcement that he will enter his, knee, his name into the G League draft. Now, this is huge for Kyrie because if you've been following his career at all, I think he's someone that has gone through a lot of tribulation and trials in the game of basketball. I mean, if you're somebody who's highly recruited, highly ranked player, and then of course you're trying to make the NBA, you're going to have a lot of naysayers, a lot of haters, and in this case, Kyrie Walker is trying to make it back into the NBA. Now, if you've been wondering where he's been, basically Kyrie initially, and from where all this happened, Kyrie initially was playing in the G League for some time. He did not end up getting drafted in the NBA, was hooping in the G League, then ended up playing in Canada. Now, in Canada, his team actually ended up winning a championship over there, and now he's trying to make his move back to the G League and back to play in the U.S. Now, Kyrie is 22 years old, according to this source right here, and was averaging just around 9 points per game in 14 minutes coming off of the bench when he was playing in the G League. Now, in my opinion, man, I'm not going to lie. When I saw some of the footage of Kyrie even playing in the G League in the past, I was kind of surprised he wasn't on a team. Overall, I mean, he looked pretty aggressive, pretty solid. At the end of the day, man, the G League is so cutthroat. Everyone is trying to make it to the NBA. And if you're not really a top guy out there, man, it's going to be tough to really make that transition. Now, overall, I think Kyrie Walker definitely was one of these prospects. Who it's crazy. You can go from really having the most clout. Everyone knows who you are. You're popular. You know, you kind of have, you know, you feeling like that dude. And then transition to now to where you're not even in the NBA and kind of didn't live up to the expectations people had for you. Now, many people point to two major factors they believe that destroyed Kyrie Walker's career. Now, number one, if you do enjoy these types of videos and want to stay up to date with the Kyrie basketball, college, and NBA news, hit the like and subscribe button now. Now, number one, the first piece is Kyrie Walker actually did not hoop his senior year. He actually ended up taking the year off for some personal reasons. And then number two, he actually ended up not going to a regular college, but instead went to a training program. Now, you know, the Rona was all around. So basically, Kyrie was unsure if college basketball would even happen and decided that would be the best route. Now, personally, and I think even back then, a lot of people know this was probably a really bad move because number one, right? College gives you some time to at least prepare or work on your game. You can grind and then make that transition to the NBA and you'll still have that visibility. Kyrie going to this training program really killed a lot of his visibility and I think just a lot of the buzz around his name. I mean, if you look at him, I believe Kyrie is around 6'6", and bro is pretty solid. I mean, he's not a skinny dude. He looks like he has some strength to him. And overall, I mean, he looks like an NBA player. I'm going to be honest. But at the end of the day, looks can only get you so far. You got to be able to hoop and back it up. And that's what Kyrie Walker is trying to prove. He is trying to prove that he can make a comeback to the NBA, that he is not just a high school name, but is overall a solid basketball hooper. 